The word is, this is the Sony 695ES, which is a $8,000 projector. So I think starting September 8th, which is tomorrow, today's the 7th now, so on the 8th, Sony should be announcing new successors to their 4K projector lineup, which would include this guy here, which is the do, 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 VW 570s in the UK, I believe, slash the 695. So the big news is that they're supposed to be having a successor to this, a new version of this coming out, which is obviously going to still be 4K. I don't know all the real technical specs, but I do know that the the big thing is going to be this year is going to be dynamic tone mapping. So just like the JVC models, they're going to uh, have dynamic tone mapping on the fly with their new, whatever the new X1 processor is, I guess that's in these projectors. And there's also going to be a successor to the to the VW870 slash VW760, which is going to be the VW790. That is their laser projector, which is also going to have dynamic tone mapping. As per the previous year's unit, the VW870 laser, it's going to be, if it, everything remains the same, which knowing Sony, they're probably just going to add, you know, probably take last year's models and just like upgrade them through software and, and then sell them for like a you know same price like they always do so for the vw 870 you know 2200 lumens because it is laser 20,000 hours of laser life most likely they're all glass lens the arc f and probably around uh probably around 15 grand 15 20 grand possibly not set in stone that's not fact like i don't know that for a fact but that's the rumor which we're probably going to find out tomorrow and for the new version of the 695 i'm going to guess it's probably going to stay around the same price i don't see them raising the price over eight grand maybe nine grand but this guy here the new version of this most likely going to remain the same 1800 lumens 6000 hours of lamp life if you're using it on low 35,001 dynamic contrast and uh, of course dynamic tone mapping on both models so I know a lot of the Sony owners out there have been waiting for Sony to release 4k projectors with dynamic tone mapping unfortunately they weren't going to do it with the the previous models but it does look like starting tomorrow they should be announcing the new models for uh, the 2020 year. And also the Sony 295 is supposed to be remaining in the lineup at around $5,000, which would be like the entry-level model of this guy. I think that one is like 1,500 lumens. Same, same uh, lamp life, I believe, 6,000 hours on echo mode, eco mode. And that should be remaining in the lineup as well. So like a new laser one, 695 gets updated. And the word is that the 295 will remain in the lineup as their their entry level model. So that's kind of the the big news. I probably should, probably should have said something about this a few, like last week. But, um, but that's the word though. I mean, I'm kind of excited. I don't know if their contrast, their black levels are going to ever reach JVC status. Like I've had, I've had two versions of the Sony projectors. I've had this 675 and that one there, the 695. I think the 675 when I first had it was like $15,000. 695 was nine grand when I had it, but I think they dropped it down to eight now. Now it's $8,000. And they're basically identical projectors. The only thing that the the 695 brought to the table was full full 18 gig bandwidth. I don't know if the new projectors are going to have HDMI 2.1. Um, I would hope so, especially with PS5 coming out. I, I would think that would be kind of a priority. So I don't know for a fact, but I would I would I'd venture to say probably they're they're probably have uh, HDMI 
on the on the new models and they'll probably still be IMAX enhanced certified honestly I haven't seen a difference between when I had that when I had this one I didn't see a real difference like it never kicked into like a IMAX enhanced mode so be on the lookout for that so fingers crossed that uh, contrast levels are black levels are as good as a JVC because there's one thing I liked about the Sony projectors uh, is that it, it did kind of have a more of like a more of like a cinematic look to it. I feel like the JVCs. I feel like the JVCs. Uh, I don't know, man. Something about the JVC image doesn't quite look like my local theater. Like the Sony just has a specific look to it, so a certain smoothness to the image. That could just be because <laughs> due to the lack of really solid black levels. But uh, I have always been a fan of the the Sony uh, Sony projector quality. So be on the lookout, man, tomorrow, September 8th. What do you guys think about Sony projectors? Do you guys have a Sony projector or do you have JVC? Have you seen the two side by side? Which one do you like better? And if it is true, if Sony does come out with dynamic tone mapping on their projectors with HDMI 2.1 support, Will you sell your current projector and buy a new Sony? Leave a comment. Let me know.